Let us rejoice in this time that we've been given and come before the Lord in prayer. Thank you for now, O oh Lord. Of all the moments we've been given, you give us here and now, and it's precious. And forgive us for not always realizing how precious here and now really is, for making it all about what's coming up or what was long time ago. Here and now. Lord, bring us to here and now, and in the humility of this moment, help us to realize what we need to leave behind, we need to put into your hand. Lord, help us to trust one another and celebrate the work that we are able to do together and on behalf of one another to see done for us. And Lord, we pray to have the strength to let things go that bring us fear. Lord, it's, it's not things that, that bump and frighten the night, but, Lord, things that we're not sure about, that we don't have control of, Lord, even our own life. And maybe that's a little more real for us now than it has been in the past, but, Lord, help us not to fear, but to put our trust in you. And if there is any fear, it is fear of the might and the love and the power that is your mighty hand, that is your loving embrace, that is the power of all creation, that is the true reality of life. Lord, that's fear worthy. Lord, make us weary and aware of deceptions. The world is full of deceit and so much of this to cause the chaos that really isn't there to draw us away from love and the fellowship that love gives us. Lord, we pray today for wisdom, for a determined mind and spirit to be engaged against the troubles of this world and to lift one another up and to be that presence of uplifting strength And as we share your word. Lord, we give you thanks for those who do that already for us, for those to whom we've been blessed with the opportunity to teach about your word and especially the children in our lives, as they give us the opportunity to encounter your word in a brand new way, in the newness of life that they bring to so many things, that in that precious nature we might understand our own innocence again, as you call us your children, and forgive us that we may be so. All this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. There's a good mosquito there today. Turning today to Isaiah. Isaiah, reading chapter 41 at verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hmm. <clears throat> What's going to keep you up when, keep you standing when everything else falls apart. And for a lot of people, things have all fallen apart. There's a lot of people out there right now, and maybe you know some of them, that their job's uncertain. The, the market is uncertain. The housing is uncertain. And they're afraid. They're coming into winter going, well, we still have a house. Well, we have a house we can stay in. Will we keep the heat on? And people might think it's a false thing to, well, we'll just put our trust in God and God will see us through this. But you look at the agency that the church can be. You look at the people that are in the community of faith that you come into a time of struggle and you belong to a fellowship like that in all humility and all openness, we're not meant to struggle through any of this alone, not one of us. We reach out to each other. We help one another. And yeah, God's miraculous hand is at work. I'm not saying the solution to a rent problem or a housing crisis or uh, the uncertainty of certain foods and the availability of, of, of items that we're used to having all the time, that this is all answerable by going to church. But trust in God who knows you need all these things. God has regularly spoken to his people throughout their times of crisis. 
and through a prophet Isaiah here into a time of exile. Don't be afraid. It's the word of angels. Don't be afraid. I am with me. Don't be dismayed because I am your God. All these other things that you think you can depend on, don't depend on those. Depend on God. And God promises to uphold you with the right hand of righteousness. And there are millennia of testimonials about how that comes true. Trusting in God always sees you through and maybe sees you into some difficult times. Maybe you are coming into a time of crisis, but what you come out of it being is tremendous, stronger, more able. Trust in God and be open with the community that surrounds you of what you're going through. That we may care for one another and show God's love to one another and be a witness of that love before the world. Yeah, it can be tough, but you're not in this by yourself. God's in it with you. And so are your brothers and sisters. God bless and keep you. Amen.